Let's bring in Oliver Slope. He's with Blue Line Futures in Chicago. Oliver, have at it, brother. We've got about a minute 20. Well, uh, geez, whatever I say here this afternoon uh, might be right. the complete opposite. <laughs> right. T 24 hours from now with the Wazi report, which everyone is looking forward to. I'm not sure if it's going to have fireworks or not. Looking at the volatility uh, indices for, for corn and beans, I'm not so sure that there's a, a whole lot expected, at least priced in. And we're seeing that in prices here recently with corn basically in a holding pattern. I continue to believe that there's going to be a lot of great shorter term trading opportunities for corn on both sides of the market as we've probably found somewhat of an equilibrium here in the near term soybeans that's the one i'm a little bit more nervous about here uh going forward into the end of the year if brazil continues to get good weather down there they could have a heck of a crop coming down the pipeline the other thing that got a lot of attention over the last several months but it had kind of been pushed back to the background is the the election that's upcoming less than a month away what, we have an election uh, we started to see some, some uh polling trends there as well that could bring back the conversation of tariffs and that hasn't been yes. talked about for a while. Yes, absolutely. You're right. It's all going to heat up here. So uh, whatever we think we're going to get over with tomorrow, we're going to have something hit us in the face again on Monday. So there's we're all, <laughs> we seem to be always wishing our lives away. We got through this report. What's next? So that's we'll why I love it. It's something new every day. That's exactly right. There's and there's not a lot of homework. So stay right there, though. We're going to go away. We've got to pay some bills. We're going to come back and talk more with Oliver Slope. He's with Blue Light Futures in Chicago. We'll be right back. Uh, hand over call. to Mr. Oliver Slope, uh, Blue Line Futures in Chicago. Uh, Oliver, um, I don't know, what's top of mind? What jumps out? Oh, well, we've had a, a heck of a rally here in the livestock markets, live cattle, feeder cattle, lean hogs, really through the month of September, that on the back of the, the big sell-off in August. And I think I keep thinking we're probably running out of gas and steam on upward momentum and trajectory, but uh, we see the strength coming into the market here this afternoon, and there's – continuing buying stepping in. I think a lot of today's strength was on the back of some pretty positive cash news. We were talking with clients and here in 187 bid in Texas was being passed on. And that's right when the market started to surge higher to, in today's trade. How much more upside is left? That's going to be the big question uh, going forward. And we talked about it in the grain segment. There's still a lot of uncertainties out there uh, regarding the election and the economy. So I wouldn't be surprised to see the market maybe take a little bit of a pause here in the very near term. And for lean hogs, uh, big sell off yesterday and then just gaining back that ground here today following a really, really impressive weekly export sales report. We were 17 percent higher from last week and 56 percent higher from the four week average. So some positive uh, notes on that end as well. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be interesting for sure. You brought up a lot of uh, big issues and it just doesn't feel like we got our handle on it. We have a handle on anything. I mean, we, you know, you got geopolitical stuff. You've got weather. Here, you got weather down in Brazil. I know there's some uh, bulls that are hoping for that to kind of rear its head because then it doesn't affect their crop here, but uh, the price goes up. That's uh, the best of both worlds. Um, but it just feels like uh, we're kind of out of sorts. And I don't blame it. I blame them if I see investors kind of take some money and go to the sidelines here for the short term. Would you? You got about 10 seconds. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I, what I'm excited about is starting to see these markets move around a little bit more on both sides, really, since the start of the new quarter. And I expect that volatility to continue to pick up into the end of the year. So some great opportunities ahead, I think. Always good stuff. Great, uh, great content. Good to see you. Thank you very much for all you do. Oliver Slope, he's with Blue Line Futures in Chicago. Uh, there you go. We're going to bring it back here. And